everyone, this is Julie Chasen here. So I'm doing a quick video about getting your visa to Nigeria as an American. So this is for Amer American citizens getting their visa for Nigeria. So I'm about to go to the post office. So some of the things you got to gather for a tourist visa specifically is you have to have your American passport with two passport photos. So I got these at Walmart for $8 for two. So um, have that prepared. And then you have to have a list of items um, for your visa package. So right here I just did a letter, a just quick letter of the reason I'm going to Nigeria and the purpose of it is for tourism. So very short and sweet. You want to have your um, Nigeria immigration um, paperwork that you did online where you paid your visa fees. Altogether it's $180. Um, you don't have to do the $30 money order like it says, and I know that because I talked to somebody who's already done the visa process and received their visa, um, so I'm not sure why it says that on the website. So you want to have that. You want to have your receipt that you paid. You also want to have another confirmation. There's three documents uh, that you have to print out, and I save them as PDFs on my printer, so I have them as well. And you want to have your, uh, your travel itinerary, so your flight, so I'm flying Emirates, so I, I um, you know, printed that out. <clears throat> and I'm also, so this is something that I'm going to do a follow-up video. Uh, so you have to have a letter of invitation. That's what it says. So somebody who lives in Nigeria, uh, you know, they have to submit their passport and some other information. Um, but some visa people that I've been talking to that are, you know, who uh, um, help people with getting visas, they said that you can have that or you can either have just your hotel confirmation. So here I have my hotel confirmation. Good thing is uh, don't use any credit cards to pay for it online. This one I paid a little, we're gonna pay a little bit more because we're gonna pay on arrival with cash. And they also want a bank statement um, showing how much funds that you have you know, to, to be there in Nigeria. I guess, you know, I put uh, 1,500 and so I blacked out, uh, as you can see, um, my account numbers, make sure you have those um, darkened out or even like whited out and and also with a black marker just in case. And somebody who's done their visa process, it doesn't say to send this, but I'm sending it anyway and it's my yellow fever uh, copy that I have the shot. So you're going to have to have that anyway when you uh, arrive in Nigeria and show them that. So I just want to do a video because there's very few videos about obtaining a visa for Nigeria and from some of my research, they have eased their visa requirements for um, foreigners coming into the country, which has been very good and, and, and nice. And there's also um, an option to get visa on arrival if you're a businessman. So that's a whole other thing. But again, I just wanted to share that. And so I'm about to go to the post office, and here's the address. I'm going to send it to the embassy in Washington, D.C. There's another embassy in New York, so whichever one's closest to you, I'm going to get a uh, uh, the best tracking, uh, you know, uh, postage that I can. And so you also have to send in a return envelope with paid postage so they can send it back to you. So if you have any questions, please contact me and thanks for watching. Bye.